today's episode, we'll be reliving Dinosaurs. The TV show ran for four seasons on ABC back in the 90s. In 1992, ProSet released this card set featuring the Sinclair family. Who better to relive these cards than Earl Sinclair himself, Stuart Pankin? We'll have some fun with him. We'll ask him some trivia questions or a couple of trivia questions in this card set. Hope you enjoy. All right, Stuart, so you ready to open up some cards? I am so ready. My fingers are itching. All right, so I got awesome. 36 packs of dinosaur cards, so get ready. Clear your schedule. We're going to do all 36. There are 10 <laughs> cards in here. We're going to detail each card. It, you know, this is going to be fun. We'll, we'll you know, we'll I make it week out of it. I have, a, I have a, a meeting at uh, 6 o'clock tonight, so I'm all fine. All right, cool. All right, you might be a little late. Okay, so so Pro Set made in the you know late eighties, early nineties, a bunch of cards. They made music cards. They made football cards. Unfortunately, none of them came with gum, like the old Topps cards. So no stick of gum in these. You know, because I was so tempted to eat like a decades old piece of gum and see you know the taste was there. <laughs> Maybe sick, but yeah. So okay, so each of these cards, there's puzzle pieces. There's trivia, so I hope you remember a lot of stuff here. Cause oh you know, man, exactly. <laughs> no phone or friend or anything. So okay. we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens here. So here's the first pack. We have Earl and Davy Sinclair on here. I remember those two. Yeah, yeah. So when you were younger, did you uh, like collect any baseball cards or anything? Um. Yeah. I mean, if my friends were yeah, I did, and my friends were collecting them. I sort of tried to collect them too. I wasn't big into that. Right. Uh, I mean, like so, even today, I, I have you know older friends who have massive collections and stuff like that, and they sell them. They try to make some money, but I, I never was. I never, I never did it for real. I did right. it just to be part of the guys. Yeah. I mean, when I was younger, I, I did it a lot, and unfortunately, all the players that I had that I, I saved them, I still have them, like Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, all the rookie cards, and of course, all steroids now. So. Oh, you know, the price went there way down. Baseball cards with an X. Yeah, exa exactly. But, um, yeah, so if you could, we'll do a couple of these. Uh, and let's go. Wait, in the back here, there's a special offer while supplies last. So, 1992, they had this offer. You think it's still uh, valid now? <laughs> huh? 92. When did the show end? The show ended. Or, 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 like 94, maybe? That, right? Yeah. So let's see. So I would put in for the offer. Yeah, so it's a collector's album. So I guess you can put the cards in the album. So oh. if I send 1070, not, not bad. Hmm, a check. All right. They're not going to cash it, so I'm only really going to lose a check. So. <laughs> yeah, I remember a while ago when the show first started, I used to, somebody sent me or I got some dinosaur figures. Right. And I foolishly probably opened them and, and looked at them. I probably should have kept them in the box, and now they might have been worse. And now they have these, what do they call them, Funko boxes, Punko like boxes. And people, well, they're actually, yeah, those are yeah. the old ones. But now right. they have them in boxes. Yeah. And people send me, they take the, the figure out, and they send me the box folded, collapsed. Okay. With a pen. Right. And they, and they ask me to please sign it. So I do when I send it back. But that's what the big collection thing is now for dinosaurs. Right, yeah. Did you did you sign any of these cards? Oh, that's a cute one. Did you sign oh, any the of these? Card, yes. Yeah. When they send me that, you know, when they send me stuff to autograph, it's either pictures or those. Lots of times, it's those cards. Right. Those types of cards. Yeah. See, these are cool because they're all they're all just you know pictures of them. There's no sayings, and in, in the back they have a little like description. So this one is with his TV squashed by a falling meteor, Earl hatched a scaling scheme to win a new set on Family Challenge. But first, the family has to study for the show. Remember that? Vaguely. Okay. Vaguely. I remember everybody sitting around and, and, and studying. Right. So here we go. Why don't we know any of this stuff? Because we've done nothing but watch television our whole lives. Now we're suffering I the remember consequences. That. Yep. I remember that. We're missing that. Winky the Moose show. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So now we have Earl and your good friend right there. Earl and Roy. Roy. So I, it's it's really interesting. I don't know if a lot of people picked up, you know, Roy Hess, your last name is Sinclair, yeah, sure. BP. So it was a lot of like oil companies. That, it was all oil companies. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure that was intentional, but did you get a lot of feedback about that? No, no, 
I mean, I'm sure the parents knew the references and the kids didn't care. They just liked the right. puppets. Yeah, absolutely. So now we got you and baby again. Me and little baby. Yeah, which was, uh, he was voiced and he was operated by Kevin Clash, right? Kevin Clash. Yeah, who did Elmo. You know, after. Oh, yeah. He's, he, Kevin yeah. We actually did a, a dinosaur's bedtime book together. Okay. Dinosaur's big stories not big songs but dinosaurs stories and kevin and i did the uh, we either did the whole stories or we did the ins and outs of the thing yeah right. he's, he's, he's yeah good. now we got your daughter charlene right there charlene <laughs> yeah sally struthers Struthers, the great sally struthers yep so charlene is miserable that she's the last girl in her class to get her tail remember that but earl doesn't <laughs> see what the big deal is after all, Charlene's just a little girl, right? Then Charlene tails girls overnight, and the boys are out the door. Her next question is, do I swing it back and forth, or do I just let it drag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, my daughter's 10 now, and I'm experiencing that. and it's The not, same thing. Yeah, well, if she has a tail, then call Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's clearly an X-File. <laughs> and here, here's your good friend Roy again. <laughs> Roy, Sam McMurray. And then let's not forget your son. What the hell was his name? Robbie. <laughs> Robbie. Oh my God. Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And who can forget? Grandma. The great Florence. Yeah. Florence Stanley. She was great. Florence Stanley was great. We actually became uh, pretty good friends uh, uh, before she, you know, when, when she was alive. Yeah. Wonderful lady. Wonderful actress. Yeah, I remember her. She was great on Night Court before she got cast in Venice. It was fantastic. And then the back of this card is just simple and to the point. Hello, fat boy. You know, <laughs> that in the dinosaurs' uh, big songs, there's a, a whole song about grandma. Right. Uh, you know, I, I mostly I was singing about how, how frightened I was that grandma was coming. That's what it's called, grandma's coming. Right. I can smell the smoke. I'm shaking in my boots. That ain't no joke. <laughs> Great really right. good. Okay, so now each pack has a puzzle piece, so you really can't tell. But ah. in the back here, I guess you take it is apart, it and put it together. Are you take it apart and put it together again. Is that yeah. It? So yeah, that's kind of cool. But and then here we go with trivia. So I'm going to ask you one question. Let's see. I'll, I'll make it easy for you. Okay. Please. What is the name of Earl's boss? Uh, BP Richmond. That's right. BP, another oil company. There you go. <laughs> All right, so that's one pack. One pack down, 35 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do one more. I, I like these trivia questions. I, it's, boy, I mean, it's been a long time. Yeah, I'll, I'll save that, Carl. I'll another one in a sec, but let's, I wonder, um, oh, I can get a free dinosaur checklist, too. It's in my name and address. All right, I'll save that later. You should you should do that and see if, if anything we get happens. a response, yeah. I think it would go to return to sender real fast. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't want to overburden our mail service right now. But, I, but I'll tell you something, and it's and it's not something to be unproud of, because of dinosaurs that are releasing those Funko Punko Runko right. Bunko boxes. Yeah. <laughs> and that that they're re releasing uh, dinosaurs on Disney Plus. That's right, yeah. Dinosaurs it, it, there's a resurgence of interest in it. I mean, I'm telling you. I, not to toot my own horn, but if I don't do it, who will? Right, you have to. <laughs> during the year, during a mostly regular year, I would get maybe one to three autograph requests uh, a month. Right. Since this thing is, this, since pandemics happened, and since they've opened up dinosaurs, I've been getting two or three a day. That's great. A, a day, well, for dinosaurs. I mean, and it's very sweet, and I always, re, I always answer them, and I return the thing, and they spend a lot of money yeah. sending me these boxes and then the re return posted. So dinosaurs is there's a resurgence and and it's great. I think it's a great show. Yeah, it's it's great. And, you know, it's still holds up. I watched it yeah. recently again, and you know, it's good for children. It's good for the adults. I mean, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's a family yeah. fun thing. It's yeah. fun for the whole family. Exactly. Now, did they um obviously they remake everything now or, or reboot? Has there been any talk about bringing that back? Like they always talk about bringing it back. Yeah. But as I tell everybody that asked me that. It, it, it ain't going to happen uh, because it, it's, and they do, they talk to, all the time to the producers and the, 
but it was the most expensive half hour television show ever. You know, maybe, you know, and probably still because of the expense of maintaining the puppets and the, and the animatronics right. uh, and maintaining it. It was the most expensive TV show. And I don't know what the ratings were when we, when we, when the show ended, probably not enough to, 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 yeah. to, to keep it going. But that's, that I was always told was one of the main reasons right. that, um, that they're not going to do it again. And besides, all the dinosaurs died. So yeah, exactly. And you were the cause of that. This uh, dinosaur is the prequel. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, you mentioned that, and which was a very you know thought provoking you know final episode. But yeah. it was kind of dark, you know, for being a children's show. Yeah, it was dark, and people talk about that. Some people loved it, and some parents, I think, were, were very upset that their kids had to. Although no, no dinosaurs were harmed in the making of that episode. I right. mean, nobody, you didn't see it, anybody die. Exactly. But, but, you know, if you had to explain to an eight or nine year old or whoever liked the show uh, what was happening, you had to say that the dinosaurs, that's how they became extinct. And, mm -hmm. and, and I guess that was a little troubling to some parents to explain that some of their beloved characters, you know, right. get the tar pit. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, so here's another one of your favorite mother-in-laws right here. <laughs> yeah, and back to Roy. I think we saw this last pack. <laughs> yeah, I, what, what, like I told you, when I get autograph requests, they ask me to sign, they send me those cards. Yeah, I'm sure like this one too, right? It's probably yeah, a, lot, a lot of yeah. those. Yeah, and then the back, of course, honey, I'm home, I'm hungry, oh, yeah. and I'm stuck in the door again. <laughs> And didn't I tell you I wrote a song which never got on the uh, on the on the on the song, on the big dinosaurs big songs album? Honey, I'm home and I'm hungry. I put a creature on the table for me, and it goes on and on. Maybe I'll send it to you. You want to hear? It. Oh yeah, absolutely. That'd be great. And then you know the, the loving couple right there. Fran. Yeah, and you know what's I funny? Be, yeah, the great you know Jessica Walters and you guest starred on Three's, Three's a Crowd. We talked about that yeah. last interview, and ironically, she guest starred in the same episode you did. Jessica? Yeah, I, I don't, she, you definitely didn't have any scenes, but she played oh. um, the, uh, John uh, Ritter's um, girlfriend's mother. Wow, wow. And Robert Mandan, I remember. Yeah, the great Robert Mandan. I don't remember, I didn't remember that Jessica and I did that, that same episode together. Yeah, I, I watched it recently. Uh, yeah, because Facebook has like these watch parties and I'm like someone in the Three's uh, company uh, group show that i, I love doing that show i was actually scheduled to be a regular on that show and oh. then uh, and then the show was canceled yeah so. yeah it's a shame yeah they're just gonna get the magic back from the breach company <laughs> yeah that's right yeah another uh that's Earl with yeah and then we got what's your two sons right there look at him robbing him yeah so, never signed one of those, though. No, I hope not. Yeah, Robbie much rather rock out with baby than practice for his first time at the howling. It's because you have a sissy howl, taunts Charlene. How do you like to bite your head off, growls Robbie? <laughs> yeah, the howling. That was one of the, as I recall, the title of one of the early shows. Yeah, and then the baby. <laughs> the baby. Kevin was great. Kevin. Yeah. They built uh, the set was was uh, raised above the ground, and Kevin went underneath, and he stuck his hand up the baby. It was one of the only hand puppets. Right. I mean, I think Grandma and Kevin, people, yeah. the puppeteers were underneath, and they uh, so that they could manipulate the puppets. Right. And they had animatronic, yeah, uh, computers. Right. Yeah. Did you ever? Yeah. Did you ever kind of play with that while you're on set? Well, I was rarely, I was never on the set right. to shoot. But yeah, when I used to visit the set, I actually put Earl's head on okay. at one point just to see what that was like. And it was brutal. It was okay. brutal. Yeah. Well, Bill Beretta was now a big producer. Yeah. At, uh, did I, did we talk about this? We talked about Bill, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he actually lost tight because of that costume. And then I toyed with the, with the animatronics, but it was extremely complicated, the way they programmed the, the eyes and the mouth. Yeah. They, could do it, they could do anything they wanted. Right. Yeah, uh, I, I played with it, but never when they yeah. were filming. Right. And they, they recorded the, the audio first before shooting? Is that they did it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I, I might have told you that uh, my guy was, his name was Mac. He was a little English guy. 
And he talked like this. He says, honey, I'm home. You know, well, well, oh, Charlene, what are you talking about a tail? I mean, that's the way it sounded. Right. And then, of course, I came in and I, I, I realized yeah. the voice. Right. And then your son being born right there. <laughs> son being born. Yeah. God, he's such a popular character on this. Uh, yeah. I wrote a song about him. You know, I wrote a I mean, I'm the baby, God love me, that song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wrote that. I co-wrote it with, uh, with Ray Cocourt, who was the oh, music. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a, a video. Remember the video for that song? The video yeah. and a really popular song. Right, yeah. And then we got another puzzle piece, which we have you. Oops. Are you getting residual? Are you getting uh, commission for, for, po- for uh, publicizing these things? You're getting money. Come on, no. I lost you. I lost you. Okay, I'm back, right? Yeah, you're back. Okay. Luckily, Pro Sets. Uh, been out of business for 30 years. This card. <laughs> so I'm, I'm good. <laughs> 30 years. Wow. Yeah. All right. So trivia question. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, how was baby born? How was he born? Yeah. As po- like as, it needed, as opposed to coming out of an egg? That's, that- that, that's basically the, I gave you the easiest one. He was hatched. So he was hatched. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll give you another one. Uh, what type of dinosaur is Roy? Oh, that's a good one. I know I'm a Megalosaurus. Yeah. Roy's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very good. Is he? Yeah. Because I remember he had little short hands. Yep. There he is right there. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus yeah. Rex. And I don't think we can confirm whether a real Tyrannosaurus Rex wore those shirts, can we? Well, I think those shirts came out. Yeah, we could. They came out about three or four years before the show started. So, uh, I, you know, so I, yeah, I have no finish for that. It's just, no. Yeah. <laughs> we tried. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. We'll do a couple more. And all right. I'll have to save these proof of purchases so I can get my free uh, poster. <laughs> Please don't get nothing. No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Another one with Robbie. And he says, Jason Quillinger. Yes. I'm confused about the nature of reality. That was his quote on there. Yeah. I don't remember a lot about Robbie. Yeah. I mean, I remember Charlotte. I remember everybody. Robbie, yeah. Jason did a great job. I mean, it was a, it was a sw- swell character. Right. I just don't remember a lot about him. Yeah. I mean, because he was kind of overshadowed by the baby and then they had the entire. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and also, the guest, the guest people. We're always like celebrities. They, right. they 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 hire like Tim Curry and Jason Alexander, yeah. and I I always said, look, I got a lot of guys who would you know a lot of voiceover actors, just actors who would love right. to do this, but they wanted uh, they just wanted name people. Cool. Yeah. So then we got baby. Uh, I, I've had it with a baby. I know, right? Exactly. Every other card, but here we go. <laughs> but. Charlene. And this is true. Were they popular, these cards, when they first came out? Did they sell? I don't know. To tell you the truth, I, I don't know. I mean, because when these came out, I was probably 16, 17. So I was collecting probably the baseball cards. And then, but I, I remember them vaguely, yeah. But her quote is pretty fitting today as it was billions of years ago. Accessories are my life. Accessories are your life. Yeah. I actually wrote, wrote a song about Charlene, which never made it, called Shop Till You Drop. Right. <laughs> And that's what she wanted to do. Yeah, and then your your favorite again, the baby. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sick of him. Yeah, but you know, there's there's Fran. the old ball and chain. Yep, <laughs> she was great. Yeah, a lot of really uh, powerful actresses auditioned for that part, and and Jessica got it. Oh wow! Yeah, and and she's still great now. She's gone to uh, Archer. She's doing a great job of voicing an Archer. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And then the old frying pan. Not the mama, baby. That's yeah. it. Right. <laughs> then, okay. I think we've seen this one already. Let's skip. All right. One more trivia question. Oh, there's a, so what's great about these card, cards, there's not just one trivia set of trivia questions. They keep adding. So there's probably like hundreds. So this card right. is 41 to 50, the trivia questions. Come on, lay it on me. Let's try. Here we go. What does Grandma can read this? Grandma Ethel wish Fran would have who, who okay, here we go. Who I gotta get glasses. Who does Grandma Ethel wish Fran would have married? 
I have no idea. BP Richmond, I don't know. <laughs> Anyone higher up on the evolutionary scale? <laughs> than me. Anybody but me, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, one more. Here we go. What food creature is on the endangered species? From the show? Yeah. Endangered speciesless. Wow. I, I have no idea. The, the herring monster. <laughs> uh, Grapidolites. Grapidolites. Okay. All right. If people are watching this and they really, I, I see, I, they, should, they should get the Dinosaur's Big Song somehow, maybe on YouTube or, or Amazon, because it has all these things, Grapidolites, it has all these, yeah. the, all these answers to these trivia questions. Right, and yeah, then these cards you can also find on eBay and, and whatnot. Can you? Wow. Yeah, yeah, but YouTube, like, you can, I'm sure all those videos are still definitely on YouTube. <laughs> I haven't looked for dinosaurs videos. I, I, I remember going on looking for not necessarily the news videos on right. YouTube. There's a lot of them. Yes. But dinosaur, I really haven't pursued dinosaurs because yeah. I have, personally, I have all the episodes today. So right. I, I put them on CD. Uh, so if I ever want to look at them, I'll look at them. But I guess people could see that. So it's on yeah, and it's unfortunate because uh, we talked about it the last time we spoke, but not necessarily the news, which is a fantastic show. Why it's not on like HBO or HBO Max, and because all the writers, right, they'd have to. Yeah, it's complicated. It's the writers, and, and yeah, yeah. All right. And then we got. Oh. All right. No, the hell with the pictures. Let me get, get get to the questions. I like those. Oh, the questions. All right, cool. So let's, here we go. How old is Robbie, since you know so much about him? <laughs> I'm guessing Robbie is 18. No, he's still in high school, so he's 16. 14. 14? 14. 14. Boy, his age. Yeah. All right, here's a layup. What is the last name of the family on dinosaurs? <laughs> that would be the Great Sinclair family. That's right. All right. So you didn't know how old your son is. So how old is your daughter? She's got to be a little older. I'm guessing she's 20. This is 12. What? Yeah. Charlene is younger than Robbie? Yeah. Well, it must have been an unexpected pregnancy because I don't remember that at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then what does Robbie call homework? Troglodyte City. <laughs> the tar pits. The tar pits. Well, I'll tell you, man, I, I, I'm, I'm failing on the dinosaur trivia. Yeah. All right. This one should redeem yourself. What is baby's favorite name for Earl? Oh, not the mama. That's of course, yeah. There you go. All right, so we'll do one more. I actually wrote a song, a lullaby, which never made it for the baby. It was called "Hush Now, Junior, Don't You Worry, Not the Mama's Here." It goes on and on. Right. Was there ever talk about naming the baby? No, I don't think so. No. I think that's one of the funny, you know, yeah. Gimmicks. Right, we got, you know, Ethel again. And then Roy's in every pack, this card. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, we got a lot, of, a lot of the same cards. So I think there's only, oh, there's only 50 cards in the set. So that's why we get a lot of reprints. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of the same cards here, okay. Oh, gee, so, what, honey? Is that a phone <laughs> call for me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, here we go. What kind of pet does Robbie bring home? Oh, it's probably one of those little furry things. I don't know. A cave person. A cave person? Oh, that's right. He brings yeah. home humans. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. That was actually uh, <clears throat> that was actually a real human being who uh, who, who did that character. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then, of course, these are all Robbie questions. <laughs> what does Robbie have to howl at? To become a man the moon that's right all right cool and then what does baby say when he's hungry feed me huh. i'm hungry feed my mouth i'm hungry <laughs> feed my mouth yeah I, I don't remember that right <laughs> all right one more let's see if we in this pack we don't get a roy card 
you're always going to get a record. They're very, they're very ecumenical in their dinosaurs. Yeah. All right, cool. I don't think we've seen this one, so that's cool. That's a good one. That's a cool one. Yeah. Uh, we have a different Roy, which is kind of cool. It's you and Roy. Yeah, I remember that one. I've signed that one too. Sometimes yeah. if I get cards or, or, or autographed pictures, <clears throat> then I don't have them. I'll scan them into the computer and just keep them. Right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And okay, cool. We don't have this one. I don't think I have BP. I never saw it. Nobody sent it. Right. Yeah. And he was voiced by the great Sherman Hemsley, right? Sherman Hemsley. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, here's another one. BP. <laughs> yeah. And then probably freaking out because he has to do homework or something. <laughs> the tar pits. Yeah, the tar pits. All right, here we go. Trivia. Question. How old is Grandma Ethel when Earl wants her to hurl herself in the tar pits? Hurling day. Uh, 180 years old. She was 72 years old. That's all. Oh, she's a baby. Yeah. That's why I had to change of heart, right? <laughs> but that's 180 years old in dinosaur years. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then what is the name of Earl's boss? EP, we've done that. We did that one, right? Yeah, okay. Apologize. All right, last one. What is Charlene's favorite pastime? Well, shopping, I'm guessing. Yep, absolutely. All right, so we got 30 more to go. You good? No. <laughs> All right, yeah, but uh, yeah, I appreciate I it. have root canal scheduled, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure that that's less painful than this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I will put to, I'll put together the puzzle and I'll send it to you. <laughs> yeah. And if I remember it, I'm not good at this. I'll try to send you the, uh, the, uh, the, the song. The, the song that, that's not on the big, and you can always get the big song, Dinosaur's big song, but I'll send right. you the ones I wrote that didn't make it, if you're interested. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to hear it. And then, yeah, I'll let you know if I hear back from ProSet about my <laughs> album or poster. <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. It was a nice taking a little trip down memory lane.